welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today we are talking about the new Tom Ford Summer Collection. So we have the iDuo in Black Sand. This is number 13. And I have three looks for you that are all on the lighter side. So I want to show you how wearable this duo is. I know a lot of people have seen a lot of like smokier looks already with this duo. So we're focusing on lighter looks, more like things that you can wear like every day. So, uh, which is how I plan on wearing this duo myself. And we also have the Sunless Lip Gloss. We're going to take a look at this. And this is a color changing one. You can actually see looking in the tube, how it is starting to kind of change color as my wand kind of dips back in. So we'll talk about this. And then just a brief overview of the Soleil Bruyant uh, fragrance that came out. I'm not a fragrance person, but just for those of you who are interested, um, just my first impressions, I just have a sample of that. Now, in addition to going over all of the details on this, I do have a giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll talk a little bit more about that then. So let's start off with the cream and powder eye color in number 13, Black Sand. If you're not familiar with these duos, I have one other duo. I have one from the Holiday Collection a couple years ago, and I love it. It's my favorite. They do have a few other duos that are permanent. I think, you know, they all look very nice. Again, I only have the holiday one plus this one. So there's a mirror in the top. So this, you know, it's just a click closure. And this is going to be a firmly pressed shadow. So let me show you this. You can see how firmly pressed it is. It's metallic. So we have kind of this deep gold shade here. And then you unscrew this and there is a little plastic piece here. You want to save that to help keep it fresh. And then this is the cream and straight up in the pan, you know, it looks just like a black, you know, cream shadow. Now these are very moussey texture. You can see when I, I touch it, it like kind of like bounces back. It's like a moussey jelly kind of texture. And this is not going to be a flat mat. So let me just show you this. A little bit there and spread that out and then it's a little bit more of it we're gonna spread that out a little bit more so you can see how easily that kind of blends now when you look at this black there's actually like multicolored glitter in it which is kind of interesting and then let me show you what these look like layered so let's make a deeper black and then again we'll just kind of buff one out here it's gonna be fun cleaning my arm today so these shadows do have some wiggle room you know like the cream when you put it on it's gonna stay moist we're gonna actually start here with this one um, so you do have time to blend it out and so, so forth but it will kind of like dry down and set so you can see when I put the gold on here that it ends up kind of getting this like kind of this greenish cast to it as well. It looks really pretty. And then let's go ahead and put some on the deeper black here. Just gonna kind of pat that. It's still a little damp right where I started the swatch. So don't want to smear that into it. So you can see that whether you shear it out to a gray or you leave it as black, you know, you get this really cool look and the more black it is, it looks like a little bit more green. Again, it's because this black has like different tones in it. I think it's really awesome. So like so many people, when I first saw this duo, I was like, I'm not really going to wear that, <laughs> but I have been playing with it and I really like this duo. It's actually surprisingly wearable. I mean, this is one of the light looks that I created with it and I like it. You know, I think it's great for every day. It stays put really well. You know, the cream on its own, you know, um, if you don't use any primer and you just use the cream eyeshadow and let's say you buff it out. So you know, you kind of spread it out like I did on these swatches. I don't have any issues with creasing or anything. Obviously, I, if I leave it like built up solid black, more emollient, then, you know, it doesn't really set as well. 
So, you know, just something to note, but I think most people are going to blend it out at least in the crease. And in that case, I have had no issues with creasing with that. Now, when I do use the gold topper on it, again, no creasing issues with or without primer. I do usually like to use a primer regardless, but I have tested it both ways and it performs well. Just a little bit of information about this duo from Tom Ford's website. This duo retails for $65 and it is inspired by an opulent golden sun at its zenith, blazing over private islands. This two-tiered eye color creates a dramatic and deeply seductive eye look. Sweep the ultra pigmented black cream base color over the lid and discover its molten glow made of golden pearl shimmer, sparkling like glimmering rays, warming naked skin. Top with a layer of high shine, high glitter, gold colored powder to amplify the incandescent effect and add extraordinary dimension to the eyes. So obviously a very verbose description of it and yeah, it's a very pretty duo. So overall, I have to say that I, I do really like this duo a lot. And just some details about the product itself. The cream is 0.24 ounces or seven milliliters, and the powder is going to be 0 0.07 ounces or 2.2 grams. The, this product is made in Italy and there's a six month shelf life. Now I have to say that honestly, I've had my other one for about two years so or a year and a half. I think it was the 2019 holiday collection one. So it's the Fleur Neige that I have as well. And my cream is still very fresh. So I haven't had issues with it drying up. Again, just make sure that if you do plan on keeping it for a while that you keep everything sanitary. And just a little bit about the lip gloss. This is the Sunlust lip gloss. You can see you've got kind of that Soleil packaging with the white and the gold. This retails for 56 US dollars. I believe the regular lip glosses are $55 unless they have just raised the prices. But this is made in Japan and it's 0.2 fluid ounces or six milliliters. And you can see that it looks straight up like a golden lip gloss, you know? And then now that I've been using it, you can see that you're starting to get a little bit of that peachy look where the wand, you know, that has come in contact with my lips has kind of come in contact with the solution inside as well. So just some information from Tom Ford's site. It says, capturing the fiery radiance of golden solar rays, the limited edition Sunlust Lip is a highly pearlescent, ultra gilded gloss that changes shades to reveal a new effect. Formulated with encapsulated pigments that break down on application, helping the color transform before the eyes. The lip gloss sweeps on golden, then shade shifts into a soft and flattering rose peach glow that shimmers with iridescence and achieves a subtle shine packaged in a sleek gold tone component that shows the treasure like gloss within. Sunless lip is a covetable color for the true sun lover. So I have a couple of demos with this so you can kind of see what it looks like just on my lips as well as paired with a lip liner. Right now I have it just on bare lips and this is the peachy shade that it turns on me. Now, my friend Bonnie, if you haven't checked her out, she is on Instagram and she puts this gloss on and it turns a much brighter peach on her. So this is going to be, uh, you know, chemistry dependent, depending on, you know, your particular skin chemistry. For me, this is the shade I get. And I have heard that some, for some people it's lighter. For Bonnie, it's definitely more intense. So, you know, there is going to be a range of shades there. And I will leave Bonnie's Instagram information down below if you want to check her out. She keeps a lot of swatches in her story highlights. So definitely check those out. She is the swatch queen. So, so right now I'm going to show you the clips of the lip gloss. And then we're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit about these particular items. I'll show you the eye looks that I created as well. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the fragrance. So we're going to try on the Sunlust lip gloss. And you can see looking at the wand here, that is a color changing product. This is not like residue from lipstick or anything like this. I've only used this on bare lips, but this is the color that it turns. You can actually see kind of in the tube even, you know, where it's come in contact here with the side that it gets a little peachy. You can see it's very gold. And just watch.
So you can see it's already starting to turn peachy. So this is after 20 seconds. This is after one minute. Okay, so I removed the gloss and now I'm gonna put on the Gucci lip liner. This is in the shade Nude, this is number one. Then we're gonna to top that with the gloss. So this is the Gucci lip liner in Nude. I did blot it once just to make sure there was nothing excess on there. And let's go in with the gloss. This is after 20 seconds. Okay, and this is after one minute. So you can see that it did still turn a bit peachy, but the gold glitter is more emphasized over the lip liner here. So you definitely see more of that gold reflect. Now let's try it with a pink one. We're gonna use the Chanel lip liner in Bois de Rose. This is number 172. All right, so this is the lip liner in Bois de Rose. And again, just like with the other, I did blot it, just to make sure there was nothing excess. And this is after 20 seconds. Okay, so this is after one minute. So again, just like with the other one, you can see a little bit more of the gold glitter, but this has also kind of warmed up the lip liner. It was a little bit rosier. Now you definitely do notice that it's got warmer tones to it. It has a little bit more peachiness to it, even though it doesn't really look peach on the lips, but it has turned from a cooler rose to a warmer rose. So this time on my lips, I have the Chanel Lip Liner 154 Peachy Nude. I'm gonna cover this with the gloss. So this has been 20 seconds. And now we're at one minute. So you can see how it looks. And okay, so this is just a little bit too much of a milky look for me. So I'm actually going to take it off and throughout the video, I'm just going to wear just the gloss with nothing else. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I think this is a really fun gloss and I really like the color that it turns on my lips. It's really just something like easy to apply. You can put it over other lip products and so forth to just kind of change the effect, freshen things up, so forth. But I personally really like it just on its own. I think it's a great, you know, everyday summer shade. So when I wear it on its own, I don't see so much of that gold reflect. There's like a little bit of it, especially, you know, when, when I move in the sun or the light catches on some of the glitter particles, but it doesn't look overly glittery. And if you want to emphasize more of that glitter, I definitely recommend using like a lip pencil or something more opaque underneath. And then you can see a little bit more of that glitter. This lip gloss in general is also a great way to warm up a lip color that you have that perhaps is a little bit cooler than you would like. Let's say you put something on and you know, you just wanted something a little bit warmer, add the lip gloss and that does kind of help warm it up. Now keep in mind, this is limited edition. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you on my hand here. So we're gonna just put this here and you can just see how gold it is and you can see it's already starting to turn peachy in the thinner portions here. So it has to come in contact with the skin in order to turn peachy. So I'm not sure if these like gloppier areas here are really gonna turn so much, but oh, there you go. You can see how peach that is. So I just wanted to show you what the gloss looks like after a few minutes on my hand. You can see how peachy it turned. And again, you can see how peachy it is on my lips as well. 
So overall, do I recommend this lip gloss? I think it's a really fun gloss. So if it's something that interests you, I would say then go ahead and pick it up while you can. So they originally had this for this for sale. It was in my for sale recommendation video, but it did sell out. I don't know if it has returned, but they do still have it available at you know different department stores and on Tom Ford's website. So I'll leave purchasing information located down below. And again, if possible, try to get it during one of the you know sales. Let me just show you how the iDuo has kind of sat on my skin. And you can see how the gold kind of transforms the total look. You know, it doesn't really just look like gold on top of black. It, you kind of get like a little bit of this like greenish gold look to it as well. So I think it's a really nice idea. Now, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. If you are not enthralled with this particular color story, then, you know, perhaps you'd be interested in one of the other Tom Ford iDuos at some point. Definitely get them on sale since they have been out for a while. But I think this limited edition iDuo is stunning. You know, it's so nice that you can create something deep and smoky and still have some of those magical qualities with the golden powder on there, but yet you can also create lighter looks like I did. So let me go ahead and share the lighter looks that I created with you right now. All right, we're starting off with the Tom Ford Black Sand Duo, and we're going to take a look at the cream part first. I'm gonna take the Katie Jane Hughes number 12 brush, and I'm going to get a little bit of this. You can see how much there is there, actually. I'm going to get a little bit of this on here. I'm wiping some on my hand so I don't have that much. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to start around the lash line. Okay, so I've turned it on its side now. And I'm just kind of going in lightly. You can see the sparkle in this. It's not a flat matte or a flat black. Next, I'm taking the Katie Jane Hughes number 13 brush. And I'm just going to kind of go in the crease. I didn't add any shadow to this. So you can see how much that can actually sheer out. So without adding anything else to this brush, I'm just kind of adding a little bit more back in on the mobile lid. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit from my hand here and just go directly above the lash line, just in a thin line. So I wiped the brush on my cloth and I didn't wipe it completely clean. So I'm just using what's left on it on the lower lash line. Next, we're going to go in with the gold powder, and I'm going to use my finger here. And let's just start dabbing this on. So I was just going back in with that same brush that I used, just very gently. Right, and next I'm taking the Katie Jane Hughes number 17 into the gold and I'm going to add a little bit of this to the inner corner here. And I'm just dragging that into the crease a little bit. Okay, just got a little bit more on here to go just a little bit under the eye here as well. Now one thing I want to note, this brush, you can see how fluffy this is. You know, it's not going to, it's going to give a very light, soft placement of the, the powder there. So on here, it's still a little damp, so I'm just going to get a tiny bit more on this brush that I used first, which is the KJH12. And I'm just kind of putting it 
I'm actually touching my eyelashes there as well. So this is the eye look up close. So this is the final eye look from a distance. So all I did was add the Lancome Lash E Doll Mascara. That's it. So I have the Vizier eye primer on and we're going to go in with the Esim V31. This is the synthetic brush and we're going to do a very light look. So just taking a little bit on here and we're going to go right along the lash line. And just going to blend that a little bit up so it's light. And we're just going to go lighter and lighter. So I think that's about it. I don't want to go all over the entire lid. Next, I'm taking the Shantakai Shade and Sweep Eye Brush, another synthetic brush, into the gold topper. And we're going to see how this applies just with a brush without using my fingers. And we're going to Kind of tap this on. I'm going to layer more up here. And now I'm kind of sweeping this area to kind of blend it a little bit more. So just so you can see that the brush is still really gold. I don't really see any black on it. I mean, it's darker because of all of the gold on here, but it looks like the black pigment has pretty much stayed put. So I wiped off the Esam V31 brush and I'm just gonna get a little bit of the gold pigment on the top and add this to the lower lash line. So this is the final eye look up close and I could definitely smudge a little bit more of the black pigment into the lash line and make it a little bit more emphasized, but I want to kind of go with something light. So I'm just going to add some mascara and I'll see you in a minute. And this is the final eye look from a distance. I haven't done the rest of my makeup yet, but I have on the Kogan Doe Moisture Foundation in 012 with the light dusting of the uh, Coke and Doe Moisture Brightening Powder in Blurring Beige. I added the Surat Noir Lash Tint just to the upper lashes, and that's it so far. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're going to start off with the Linda Hallberg 303 brush, and I'm just going to get a tiny little bit here on the brush, and we're going to be doing the you know, black kind of like on the outer corner and the inner corner and leaving the center open. And let's play with that today. And I'm going to kind of fade it out. I don't want it really dark and pigmented. So you can see, I definitely just got the tiniest bit of pigment. I think I'll, I'll need to get a little bit more than that. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. I'm taking the Linda Hallberg 304 and I'm just going to kind of, I don't have any additional product on there. I'm just going to let this kind of migrate a bit. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of blend out a little bit, but notice I'm blending away from the center because I still want to leave that center area completely open. All right, so this is what they look like with the black, and I'm going to take the Sonia G Soft Shader, and I'm going to go into the gold topper, and I'm going to put this all over. So concentrating more so in the center here, and then just kind of tapping over the rest of it.
All right, so those are the eyes. I'm gonna take the 304 brush again and no additional product, just going over the crease a little bit. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the Synergy Smudger 2, just in the gold. And for the upper lash line, I'm taking the Chantecaille Lesser Glide Eyeliner in Earth. This is just a brown eyeliner. And I'm just going to kind of smudge that a little bit with the Smudger 2. Just to soften. I'm just going to take a little bit more of the gold with the soft shader. And kind of just tap over the lash line again. Well, the whole, whole eye. <laughs> So this is the eye up close. I'll see you in a second. All right, so this is the final eye look from a distance. I added the Sisley So Stretch Mascara in brown just to the upper lashes. We're leaving the lower lashes plain, trying to keep things looking a little bit bright and open. All right, so I hope that was helpful. I wanna just show you what it would look like if you just took like a black pigment. So this is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in uh, black. So what is this called? They call it blackout. <laughs> so these are really easy to work with as well. And you can see that, you know, this one doesn't have any of the glitter in it that the Tom Ford base does, but you know, there are other varieties of this. I think she does have one that has like some sparkly bits in there. I'm just going to create two swatches here so we can kind of see a couple things here. So this is the Chanel Ombre Premiere Shadow in 56 Grandeur. This came out in the holidays in 2020, no, 2019. Sorry, I'm mixing up my years. But this is kind of like a creamier shadow here. So I just wanna show you what it looks like if you put a gold shadow on top of the gold base or the black base. So you can see that it's not gonna be quite the same effect. You don't have quite so much of that greenish look, but it's still kind of a similar effect. Now this is more of like one of those creamy powder shadows. Let me show you with, or this is Or Antique from this year's, this 2020's holiday collection. This is 925 from Chanel. And let's put this on the lower swatch. So this is a lighter gold than Grander. And you can see that, you know, the shadow itself is a bit more of an opaque shadow than the top board, which is a little bit more topper-like. But just to show you kind of what you could do with some products you already have. So if you have a gold topper already, then, you know, you could kind of do that or sheer out the shadow that you have. Just tap it on lightly. Now, as for the lip gloss, I don't have a lip gloss like this, so I have nothing to compare this to. I don't actually have any gold lip glosses on their own, which is what I thought this was originally. I was like, I'm not gonna wear a gold lip gloss, but I really like the peachy shade that it is. So if you're kind of between the duo and the gloss, I would say go with the gloss, but that's, you know, they're both great products. Now, for those of you who are fragrance lovers, I do have a sample of the new perfume that was part of this collection as well. It's called Soleil Bouillon, and it retails for either $3.50 or $8.95. So it is, you know, a pricey fragrance like Tom Ford's fragrances always are. And here's just a little description from the website. So Soleil Bouillon captures the high shine brilliance of the golden sun beaming on a private oasis the sun-kissed freshness of mandarin and bergamot mingles with spicy pink peppercorn, giving way to an ornate and regal floral heart, while orange flower absolute and a note of radiant black honey release a seductive vapor. The background brings the burnished warmth of decadent amber embellished with resins and woods. An air vetiver and leather stokes the smokiness of extravagant incense. So I think that's actually a fairly good description of this perfume. So when I smell it straight from the bottle here, it smells, it has a little bit of like the freshness of woods, but it definitely smells like foresty. Not like, you know, like pine salt or anything, but 
like true force. And to me, I get the smell of like a, you know, like a, um, with a bonfire <laughs> happening in the woods. So kind of like that smokiness scent to it. And yeah, I, again, I'm not a nose, but I have played with this a little bit. So when I first smell it, when I first apply it, I get more of that spiciness. It smells a little bit more of a masculine scent. You know, you've got kind of those woody notes to it, those smoky, intense vibes. And then after 20 minutes, I start smelling some sweetness. This does not get overly sweet at all. It doesn't, it, it's really more like, kind of like a, a hint or a waft of sweetness. So it, to me, evokes the thought of walking through the woods by, you know, smelling a bonfire and smelling like marshmallows or creme brulee roasting over it. So you get a little bit of that like burnt or caramelized sugar scent kind of mixed in there, but it's, it's light, you know, it's still, you're still smelling much more of those heavier notes. I don't really smell any of the floral notes that they talked about personally. Again, I'm not a nose, but to me, it smells more like caramelized sugar and uh, a fire. <laughs> so it, it, it's definitely a very warm scented fragrance. It doesn't really make me think of summer. It makes me think more of the time when you're transitioning from summer to fall and you're you know, hanging out at night like under a bonfire more so. You know, it's starting to get a little cooler, that type of thing. So that's just what this fragrance means to me. So I just wanted to share that for those of you who are interested in this. Now on to my giveaway. Now, unfortunately, we are still having shipping restrictions. This giveaway is going to be open to US and Canada right now. So I'm really hoping to be able to do more international things, but I just checked the shipping restrictions again this morning. And right now it looks like it's best to wait. So we're gonna stick with US and Canada and we're gonna do it just like we did last time. So there are two options. So I picked up an extra eye duo and gloss. So I have a brand new duo and gloss here that is option number one. <laughs> and then I also picked up my one of my favorite Tom Ford palettes. This is the Shade and Illuminate Face and Eye Palette in Moonlit Violet. So I don't want to open it, but here is mine. So this is the quad, the, the palette. So you have a contour shade, a highlight, and this beautiful eye quad here, which is in the wet dry formula. I really, really love this particular palette. So we will have two winners and the first winner will get to choose whether they want the duo and gloss from the summer 2021 collection or they can choose the Moonlit Violet palette. And then winner number two will be drawn after number one has claimed their prize and they will have the option of taking the other item or the other items. So if for some reason, you know, maybe they already have it or they are not interested in what's left, then in that case, we would draw a third person. So as I said, we are going to have two winners and all you need to do is leave a comment down below in the comment section with your favorite Tom Ford item. So what have you tried and loved from Tom Ford? Or if you haven't tried anything yet, what is it that you are most interested in trying? So it doesn't have to be a specific item. You can give a category such as, you know, the wet dry eyeshadow formula or something. So just your favorite from Tom Ford, as well as a way to contact you in case you are the winner. So either an email address or an Instagram handle, but I need some way to contact you and please double check the spelling on that so there is no trouble with that. I will be using the ran random comment picker to select the winner and the first winner will have 24 hours to respond to me, either DM or email and they will have 24 hours to select what they want and you know we'll figure out shipping address and so forth and then after the first winner has selected what they would like to claim then i will draw a second winner and they will have 24 hours as well to claim that if for some reason somebody does not meet the 24 hour requirement then we will go ahead and select a, another winner here so this giveaway is going to run for one week. So next Wednesday, April 28th, I will be selecting the first winner around 9 a.m. Eastern time. So depending on what method of contact you gave me, 
please be sure to check that. So if you are the winner, you can claim that prize. And then I will be contacting winner number two as soon as the first prize has been claimed. So thank you so much. And I hope this is something that can just kind of help brighten somebody's day. And, you know, it'll be something fun to play with for the summer. So in summation, I really like both the Eye Duo and the Lip Gloss. I would recommend them. And, you know, I think these are kind of like hot, hot products for the summer. I think they are great for summery looks for daytime, nighttime, so forth. So that's why I wanted to do a little giveaway with these. So hopefully this will brighten somebody's day. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon. So have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. And again, don't forget to leave a comment down below in the comment box along with your Instagram handle or your email address.